Hello everyone. I'm going to take you on a little tour of Christchurch so that you know what to expect when you come back to the building next week and you've got an idea of what measures are in place to help keep us as COVID safe as possible. As ever, there's no pressure to come back to church and if you're feeling unwell or you just don't feel ready to come back yet, that's absolutely fine. I would rather that you felt safe and to help that, we're going to continue to stream the 10.30 Eucharist every week. So that'll go up on YouTube a little bit after the main service for those who wish to join us online rather than in person. So when you arrive at Christchurch, um, you'll see there's a QR code if you use that on your smartphone. Um, and please do join your hands as you arrive in the building. And if you're somebody who wears a face covering, uh, please do wear that throughout the service until you come to receive communion. So coming into church, um, there's a table here with, again, space to sign in for the service, space to join your hands and do the QR code if you've not done that already. There'll also be some activity sheets for children and we'll ask you to collect your own order of service and pew sheet. Although if you do receive it by email, uh, you might want to look at that on a device instead. And Julie's made some more masks for us for sale as well. And then coming into church, um, we're not going to take a collection. Um, so if you'd like to make an offering towards the work in the ministry of Christchurch, um, we ask you to leave that in the box before we start. And then when you come into the building, um, you'll see that um, the ceiling has finally been repaired. Um, so everything's back to normal, both in the Lady Chapel and also uh, in the main nave. And one of the sides team um, will show you to a seat. Um, so we ask that everybody fills from the front of church first. Uh, so even if you've got a preferred seat, we do ask that you sit from the front forwards. Um, and that means that people aren't walking past one another and spreading the germs. And there is a bit of precedent for that because Jesus did say the first will be last and the last will be first. And you'll see on the pews as well, um, we've got little signs saying, please take a seat on that pew. But then there's always a two pew gap. Just allow us to keep that social distancing as well. And we usually ask if it can either be three single people on a pew or two couples or one household, if you've got more than one family coming as well. Again, just so we can keep the distance. And then when it comes to receiving communion, um, we're just receiving bread still at the moment. So again, the sides team will direct you up to the front and we'll receive standing at the altar rail. And once you've received, um, we're going to go on a bit of a, a walk around church. Um, so we're going to head over into the Lady Chapel and then return to our seats uh, from the back of church. Again, just to try and keep the flow of people. Um, but if you've got any mobility problems, that's fine. The sides team will hold the traffic for you and allow you to return a little bit easier. And if you're coming for the 8.30 service, um, you'll see again, we're going to be using the Lady Chapel this time. And again, that just allows us to have a little bit more of a social distance for everybody. Um, the chairs are a bit easier to clean as well. So. Um, if you're coming for either the 9.30 service on a Friday or the 8.30 Sunday service, the Eucharist will be in the Lady Chapel there. And then when it comes to the end of our church worship, um, again, the sides team will direct us to leave the pews um, from the back of church um, first and then working forwards to the front. And again, that's just to allow us to stop too much mixing of people that's um, as, as per the regulations. Um, so when you do leave, if you can take your orders of service and any pea sheets home with you, that would be fantastic. Um, and if you've got an order of service you can bring back with you next week, that would be lovely, just saves a bit of transmission there. Um, if you're able to help us uh, clean the pews after the end of the service, um, obviously with them being quite historic and fragile, um, we're going to be using um, some of this uh, Ecova spray. Um, so that goes onto a dry cloth and then wiping down the pews afterwards. Um, but if you're able to help, that's fantastic, but no pressure if not. 
plenty of gel available for those uh, receiving communion just to clean our hands before we receive the sacrament. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions at all about keeping safe, please don't hesitate to let me know. But really looking forward to welcoming everybody back to Christchurch, to being able to worship and pray together once again, and to look forward to the coming of Christ among us this Advent and this Christmas too. So take care, keep safe, and God bless. <laughs>